Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. Now, a couple of days ago, I showed you guys how to basically set up the environment that we need to actually start developing add-ons. Now, I kind of actually rushed myself and I've missed out the most important part and that is actually setting up a template. Now, what this template is, is basically a empty resource and behavior pack. And why we need to do this is because I'm going to be using this in every single tutorial that I create. And if I don't show you guys how to do it, you're not going to be able to do any of my tutorials. So that is what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually set up this template. So let's go ahead and let's get to our resource and behavior pack folders. Now, somebody in the comments said um, you can actually type percentage local app data percentage to get straight to your local folder instead of a roaming. You want to go to packages and then scroll down and find Microsoft.Minecraft. Uh, you also told me what UWP means as well and it means Universal Windows Program. Not entirely sure what it is but uh, that's what you guys said it stands for. Go to local state games com.mojang and then here we are we get our behavior packs folder and our resource packs folder. Now, we're going to go into this vanilla folder here. If you don't know how to get this, check out my previous video. We're going to head into there, go into client, and as you can see, this is the uh, kind of resource packs folder in the uh, vanilla pack. And as you can see, we've got this file called here, pack underscore manifest. And this has some information which tells the game uh, what's the name of the pack, what's the description of the pack, what's the ID of the pack. Um, and a bunch of important information that we need to actually get add-ons to work correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that pack manifest file. We're going to go back, go into our resource packs folder here. We're going to create a new fo folder. And we're going to, going to just call it tutorial. Now you would obviously name this what your resource pack is called. So you could have like Mr. Crayfish's awesome resource pack, that's what you would call this folder. We're going to go into that and then simply paste in that pack.manifest.json. We'll come back to that in a second. We're going to do exactly the same with the behavior pack, however we have to copy a different one. So go into the server this time and then copy this pack manifest. Copy that. Go back into behavior packs. Create a new folder. You would probably want to name this exactly the same as well. So in this case, mine's just going to be tutorial again. We're going to paste that uh, different pack manifest into this folder. And then we're going to open these both up in uh, Notepad++. So that's the uh, behavior pack manifest. And then we want to have the resource pack manifest as well. So let's quickly do an overview of what we actually see in these files real quickly. So we'll start with the resource one right now. So we have a pack ID and this is going to be a unique ID for your resource pack. Uh, you don't want it conflicting with any other um, pack or custom pack that gets added in. So we have to use this thing called a UUID um, and it's pretty much going to be near impossible for somebody to actually have the same ID as this unless they actually copy it out of your file which is kind of silly. The next one here is a name. And this is where we would put in, let's say, Mr. Crayfish's awesome resource pack. You would chuck it in this section right here. We have the version, so 0.0.1, .0 pretty straightforward. You'd probably increment that each time you make any updates to your pack. You have the description. And then we have the section here called module. Now, I'm not entirely sure um, what this is for because I don't I don't know I don't really see like a benefit <laughs> why this is added but we're just you we're kind of just following the rules of what um, other packs are doing at the moment so uh, we'll be filling in this information here again we've got the description another version uh, a UUID and then this here is a type we're just going to leave that as is so that is the resource pack manifest uh, let's go to the behavior pack now we've got an extra um, array down here called uh, dependencies and this is this is actually pretty cool I've discovered what this does so if you actually load up um, if you add an add-on into your world it's going to make sure that it has the associated resource pack added to that world as well because 
um, you might have made some changes in the textures or the models it's going to make sure that it also adds the resource pack as well so that's the thing about dependencies here uh, but again pretty same again we've got another pack ID um, this is actually different to the um, resource pack so they have to be different we have a name uh, packs version so again another whatever and then again we got modules again so pretty straightforward now we're actually going to enter our information in now so let's go over to the resource pack manifest and we're going to skip the IDs for now we're just going to enter in all all of our other information so the name of our pack is going to be uh, tutorial resource pack the version is going to stay the same um, and then we're going to change the description as well this is an awesome pack it totally is and then for modules here we're going to copy this description and then paste it into that description there and that's it so far for the resource one let's go to, to the behavior pack one again let's change the name here we're going to copy that but instead of resource we're going to write a behavior instead keep the version the same here where we have resource pack vanilla description we're going to copy the one the description from over here and then pop that in and then this one here for this description is the description of the behavior pack this is an awesome behavior pack so you pretty got pretty much done the names and the descriptions of the packs now we've actually got to change the IDs around so what you want to do is go to a website called uuidgenerator.net you want to go over to this section over here where it says version 4 in this little input type in 4 and then generate we're then going to copy this first um, ID here copy that go to the resource pack and paste it into this pack ID at the top here we're going to copy the second ID, paste it into this UUID down below, then go into the behavior pack one, and we're going to paste it into this UUID down here in the dependencies um, object array, paste it into that UUID there. We're going to get the third ID, copy that, paste it into the pack ID at the top here. And then the last one is going to go into the module section here of this UUID. Paste it there. And we're set up with our template now. Now the last thing that you'll want to do as well is add in an icon. So let's just go back here. Let's go to vanilla client. Let's copy this pack underscore icon dot png. And then this is just going to go into the root directory of our um, of our behavior pack and resource pack where the uh, pack manifest is so let's paste that into there uh, and let's do just paste exactly the same into the resource pack as well paste that there and we've now got an icon um, for both the resource pack and the behavior pack and let's go ahead and let's start up the game now and that you'll see that we've got basically an empty resource pack and behavior pack in the game so let's create a new world, let's just set that to creative uh, go down to resource packs here and if we scroll down you'll see that here we have tutorial resource pack so that's the one we just added then so we're not actually going to add that in, what we're going to do is go to our behavior packs here now I'm going to show you guys that when we actually add this behavior pack the resource pack will also get added, added as well even though we haven't explicitly added it from the, uh, menu here so as you can see you've put the be tutorial behavior pack in let's click click create and then we're just going to close the world we don't really need to be in there anymore close the game then if we go back to our folder here we go back outside uh, back to this folder you'll see that we got one called minecraft worlds open that sort by date modified so go to the most recent one this is the world we created here 747 747 yep 
and then we go into resource packs here as you can see the tutorial resource pack has actually been copied in even though we didn't explicitly put it say it in the creation menu um, it's because the behavior pack here has said that we need this to be in for it to work correctly so that's what the dependencies does now we're actually going to be using um, basically we're going to have a world and then we're going to be editing the world's behavior pack and resource packs and then once we're done with it we're going to copy it back over to the kind of universal um, folders here because basically um, if we actually updated the uh, pack in from this folder here when we actually go back into our world it's not going to be updated and that's because um, these behavior packs here have already got those tutorial and it will see like oh it's already in there but the changes won't actually get pushed to it so you edit it in the world file and then you copy it out once you've done your changes into the kind of universal folders here I know that might be hard to kind of put it but like changes won't be added to the world if you edit your behavior packs from here so um, that's why we edit it per world and then copy it out otherwise you'd have to create multiple worlds each time and it's just that takes too long anyway hopefully that showed you guys how to set up the template we're going to be creating add-on tutorials really soon I'm currently working on one at the moment um, you might have uh, seen it in the video but I'm not going to explicitly say it um, to you guys but well, hopefully you enjoyed this video make sure you go ahead hit that like button subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all my tutorials and I will see you guys for the next one bye